tactic with Stomp just eating right through it. Yep. And every Apparently. every one of your missiles being difficult, but great uh, fade back there into that down smash. Just wave dashing back ever so slightly. When people are cornered at the ledge like that, you don't see it often, but it is good. Oh, yeah. All right. And he'll just go out there. Big muscle puff back here. All right. Here we go. Hugs again. The ledge hop, the little creep on. It's really ambiguous, really hard to tell what he's going for. Because if he refreshes his invincibility and you actually go for him, you uh, may end up beating ledge hop fair, hit a down smasher up B. You exactly. don't want that. Crouch cancel from Wizrobe off that forward air from the ledge. Always good to see. Yep. Really impressed with a hug's, you know, close quarters spacing his street fighter-y kind of footsies. Yep. It is, it is often said that most traditional fighting game players enjoy Samus a lot, actually. She's very grounded and two-dimensional in a way. Not in a flat sense. No, no, no offense to Samus players. I don't mean it like that, but you know what I mean. Yep. And, oh, and her grab is pretty slow. In a lot of ways, it, it actually reminds me of an overhead, you know, in, in other way, games. Yeah. It's like it's such a big opener for her, but it is slow. It's almost always punishable if she doesn't connect it. Yep. All right, gets the drop down, just covers the low option. Single hit of the fair to pop him up. I love that link. Yeah, that was that was extra nice because it didn't allow Wizzy to go across the right side of Battlefield and use Captain Falcon's weight to survive. Hugs exactly. actually got to pick where he sent him. Really solid. Great DI there from Hugo as well. All right, and tries to follow through. Catch, try to catch the landing, but a little too slow, yep. and he'll get back here to the shield. Has his KO move out of shield against Samus. That's something not a lot of characters actually have. No. Falcon's, uh, his knee is strong. Yep. His back is pretty strong, too. Yep. Forces him into the Meteor Crush animation, so you got to play with him a little bit longer. Great DI, but ledge cancel into back here. Yep. Wizzy descends on Hugs with that first hit in air into grab. Not able to get a lot. Oh, yep. Okay, so on certain weight classes and floaty uh, characters, Falcon at certain percents can do uh, two frame perfect uh, up air regrab on certain DI. It's quite nice to see, and Always nice to see implemented. Ooh. And right there, we Hugs has been forcing Wizrobe to respect his jabs and tilts, getting him Ooh. into shield. This is like the crux of the Samus ground game against these fast characters, is worry about getting jabbed, tapped, about getting caught with random smashes, get in your shield, so I can actually connect mm. with a combo starter in the form of my grapple. But Wizzy does take the lead. He does. All right. Good power shield there from Hugs. Not much he's going to get off of it, though. He's getting shoved into the corner. We got yep. reactions? We got reactions. He's able to cover at least two options with Nair. It might not be the best hit, but he is able to get the string in. Yep, it's good solid. Sets up your edge guard. Mm. And that right there, that's why Samus's hate him. Find out why. Find out why. <laughs> Next. Oh, oh and there's a fade back knee. Oh, my goodness. Trouble edge guarding Samus? Here's one weird trick. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're just reading like a bad internet ad. All yep. right. Right there. Uh, the reason the knee did not connect is because it was the back swing of down smash. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, just that quick dash back, pivot aerial. And yeah. he will take that stop. Uh, actually, that was that was completely a reaction forward air on Wizzy coming in at him. Just said, I think oh, he nearly yep. caught him with that. It would have been sick. Yeah, he wanted to get, I think, the, uh, the shield confirmed from the missile more than anything. Just because he was so close, that was one of Wizzy's only options. But he tanked the hit instead. Great SDI up, too. But he's able to oh. cover it. Tech roll in. The timing on that was pretty much inescapable for Wizrobe after, at that point. No matter what tech he did, he was going to eat that charge shot. It was pretty well placed. All right, and a great call on the shield after Ariel. Gets this quick shield stop pivot into back air. Falcon is a heavy and I like the wave dash out of shield from hugs Oof. he's creeping back looking for a little poke that he can turn into a real opening yeah trades off he's just gonna try to go high doesn't get there quite in time oh all right oh was he's really trying to uh intimidate hugs out of his shield hugs ain't having it he's just getting those little slip aways oh and he actually gets the roll a little late to cover it initially but all right 115 Full charge shot on deck. We'll see if he can make anything of it, but he's already off stage here. Just goes in. He's yeah. caught by the up air. Really, really wanted to take center stage right there and not be in the corner. Because oh, oh, my goodness. Big call out. I'm not going to say it, chat. <laughs> I'm not saying it. You can't make me. <laughs> no. 
game right. one. Yep. Wizzy. Yeah, yeah Wizzy actually. The yeah, he called the uh, the initial part that we've been talking about where he'll wait for that last second drift yep. and see, you know, oh, they're just refreshing, but he just stuck the fist out there anyway with the back air. Speaking of drift, uh, Wizzy, a vagabond born to roam. Not confined to the stage, just into the darkness. Are we going for... Can we clip that, please? Where did he go? Can we get a clip? Where? Somebody uh, hit me with that on Twitter. I, I want to rewatch. that. I don't see him. Okay. Oh. Okay. He has, he has returned to us, triumphant from that first match. <laughs> Had to take a quick moment to psych himself up. Yeah. Oh. He, he got <laughs> so much damage off of his openings. One of the worst parts uh, as the Samus player is that your DI kind of doesn't matter. You DI no. out so you don't get need. But then you lose all advantage. Yeah, you, you fly really far off the stage. Wizzy can chase hugs all the way out to the edge, get him to something like 70, 80, and then he gets a lot of time to possibly get an edge guard. All right, Yoshi's counter pick, interesting. I mean, it does force Falcon to commit uh, in the same way that Marth does have to. Uh, but it's not something I typically see. Oh. Like a little tickling forward air. All right. Hugs is maintaining a solid mid distance, just right outside of where Wizzy can actually touch him from initial dash from where he is. Great, great stuff. Wearing down shield with jab one and calling in with down smash. Cute. I like it. Electroshock therapy for him. Yeah. Oh, slight mistiming there. Man, that he is finding a lot of these right now. Yeah. What's oh. Okay. Right. That's what I'm talking about, man. All right, a lot of damage chases him to the very blast zone. Yep, Arizona is screaming, I'm sure, right now. All right, we'll see if he's able to keep it up. How long can the percent last? Not long enough. Oh. Great punish. Though. Not going to get his uh, crouch cancel tag. I don't know if Samus can actually fall through the Yoshi's top platform after her up B like she can uh, a lot of side platforms. Oh, right. Something that would be interesting to know. Hugo, with his wave dash out of shield game right now, as clean as it is, it's almost reminiscent of how Duck plays Samus. Like, Duck plays a very, very shield-heavy Samus, and I yep. really appreciate like, the slight influences that we see in each other. Hugo's probably been doing it for a bit longer, but when I, when I think of it these days, in terms of stylistic choices, I think of Duck. Yeah, it's, it's nice because you have her fast mm. wave dash out of shield, very slidey, yep. by hugs. But you've also got the threat of screw attack. And you can grab. You can, I mean, if, if you want to commit to that. And technically, her nair out of shield is really quickly. That's or true. Is really fast, not quickly. Yeah. Adverse. I like a. Uh, so Hugo's been shifting to light shield on platform just to get a, just a little bit of positional change and kind of see if he can catch Wizrob off guard. Um, oh. Doesn't have a jump. Does have a grapple. Was he respecting it? Doesn't want to get tagged with that. And his. Oh, he's dead. No. No. Manages to hold on to it. Was he right. tried to sink in with the bear right there? Yeah, weak hit knee stuffing out. But post 100 get up, it's stuffed out on its own right. Yeah. All right. Tries to follow him through. He's just going to snap right to ledge. Take his time. Come back into it, but commences the grab and gets the knee. You see that he lands behind him. Goes, what? Grab? Really? Turns around, does his knee. Like, that's, that's cool. Thank just you. takes his time, like Wizzy does. Yeah. I love that cross up jab on shield. Fantastic way to just pressure and just see if you can force that out of shield option. Oh, wow. Okay. Got the standoff. And the up out of shield. A Falcon actually able to get a hard punish on the screw attack with that horizontal speed and the coverage of up air. Yep. All right, gets the slide off the but Oh, won't be too costly. He's going to be able to just get right back to it. Oh, okay. Yep, covering through with shield drop up air. Hugs being able to pop him up a little bit here. One thing I've really enjoyed seeing from Hugo uh, in particular has been that tech was so good, but he uh, he wears down shield a lot. A lot of Wizzy shields on platform by just wave dashing in place or wave dashing down and back, seeing what he can pick up and eventually being able to get shield stabs. Yeah, try to get uh, the pop up with that first hit of forward air and then actually sink it into something else and almost managed to connect that uh, aerial grapple into an air, but he couldn't quite make it. Like The interactions, the exchanges, they're close. Wizzy just gets a little more. He's hard yeah. to edge guard. I mean, oh. he, just, he, he just hits like a truck, honestly. It's attrition, and it Falcon's winning. It's true. All right. So the Yoshi's counter pick uh, was good, but, I mean, it didn't didn't do much. We'll see if he goes back. We'll see if we get something more like Yoshi's. 
<laughs> you know, for a change of pace. You know, we just want to switch things up a little bit here, so we're going to go right back to where we just were. To be All frank, right. he doesn't have that many other great choices. No. Like, I talked a bit about, uh, you know, why Fountain can be a double-edged sword for Samus' counterpick with the platforms, and was he definitely not the type to get tangled up? No. He, he is very, very good on that stage. So I guess Hugs is saying, if I can't beat you here, can't maybe, beat you I'll, anywhere. maybe I won't beat you at all. Yep. All right, good jab grab confirmed. Interesting coming out from the Falcon, and he'll just catch straightaway tech. Yeah, if you uh, you watch closely, you saw like just a tiny bit of stagger on his timing. Yep, just wanted to make sure. Yep. All right, Ooh. Hugo tries to cover the high option there. A yeah, really precise drift from Wizrobe, and Ooh. Yep. looking like his set against Lucky. Yep. That weight on the down air wasn't able to find the missiles, and he is the one being turtled up. Oh, nope, yeah, I lied. All right. Going for these three-piece combos. Oh, the spot dodge on the spot Falcon dodged Kick. Spot dodge the Falcon Kick. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure what he was going for there. Oh, all right. Good DI there out of the first hit. Ooh, oh, he was definitely hunting for that C-stick, and he flicked yep. the... Uh, the emergency B button, which is kind of like a little bomb on the controller. It is. It just well, explodes on you. Yeah, little red. Use it for emergencies. Oh All my right, god! Right, and another knee. He just kind of rinsed and repeated that same interaction, and what was looking like an all right game is uh, slowly trickling out of Hugo's hands, and Wizzy's picking up the scraps. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah, but he's, he's just forcing wall aerial and the weak knee. Still has his jump. Is able to refresh, get back on stage, but. Back air, and Wizrobe just holding position. Yeah, he's suffocating him in the corner. I don't know what Samus actually does to get back. I, I don't mean, know if she does anything. Let, let's talk about it. Rolling is terrible. Um, Losing your I mean, double You can, jump you can wave dash out of shield, but getting up off the ledge. Good use of the space jump there, and a call on shield. Um, interesting to see Wizzy. Oh, all right. He's shielding a lot for being only. He, he wasn't about 30% when this uh, this miss edge guard happened, but that's going to be the 3 0. Yeah, that's. That's rough, man. Yeah. yeah. I didn't feel like Hux played bad. I don't feel like he did, but we did see a lot of issues where it was like he got stuck. Yeah. And Wizzy was sort of able to just force these interactions, just push into him harder and harder each time. And Hugs couldn't find the way out. Yeah. Uh, comparing that set uh, with the one against Lucky, we saw almost every time he screw attacked Lucky, Lucky wasn't able to hit him. Yeah. And half the time, he managed to actually follow up by getting position on him, threatened with missile, threatened with nair, yeah. something like that. He didn't get any good screw attacks on Wizzy. No. And I think he got one on the top platform, of, up to the top platform of Yoshi's. Was he smashed the eyed out to yep. the left side and then he, punished him with up air? Yeah, that's the thing with Falcon is, you know, because he is so heavy and his ECB is large, um, you know, he's able to just smash SDI because of his weight class and just get out of there. It's not bad. Ice climbers boom into my head. Oh, but we've got banana.